When you go out and explore the world, you never know what you may find. You could discover something that changes the way people see the world forever. Or make some really creepy and scary discoveries, as we'll see in this video. From gigantic lines in the ground which may prove aliens exist, to parts of lost monster creatures. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at scary discoveries found in unexpected places. Before we get into it, why not discover the subscribe button and press the notification bell too. Alien Lights If I told you that alien lights were spotted, then you'd likely think it was a fake story. But this comes from a report in the American Journal of Modern Physics. In 2016, they made a startling find. They were using a newly developed telescope for the first time, and when using it, they discovered some extraterrestrial entities in the environment. These pink dotted lights were invisible to the human eye, but the Galileo telescope with a convex lens was able to see it. The entities were said to be moving intelligently. This suggests some kind of surveillance of the area. The lights were seen at night over Tampa Bay, Florida. The scientist behind this, Dr. Santilli, found the first known evidence of an apparent existence in our universe. The telescope can also see antimatter galaxies, antimatter asteroids, and antimatter cosmic rays. But the most amazing discovery were these alien lights in the sky. These have been independently verified by his colleagues. And they're now on an official list of invisible terrestrial entities, also known as ITEs. This is as close to aliens as we've ever got. Moa Birdfoot In 1987, some archaeologists were doing an expedition of a cave. The cave was Mount Owen in New Zealand. But as they were exploring, they found something very scary. They found a gigantic, dinosaur-like foot. It was still very much intact, with scaly skin and flesh. It was so well preserved that the scientists thought the animal must have passed away recently. But upon further examination, it was revealed to be 3,300 years old. No one knows how the mummified remains of a prehistoric moa bird got into this cave. Back in the prehistoric ages, the moa bird was the largest bird in the world. The mystery is, who mummified this bird claw? And how did it even lose this claw in the first place? Bella in the Witch Elm This one takes place in Worcestershire, England. On the 18th of April 1943, four local boys were playing in the woods. That is when they came across a large witch elm tree. They thought it would be a good place to hunt birds nests, so they tried to climb inside the tree. But as they did, they found a hollowed out trunk and discovered a skull. At first, they thought it was an animal, but then they saw human hair and teeth. The boys reported this to the police and the tree was cut down. Inside, they found a complete skeleton with a shoe, a gold wedding ring, and some clothing. Forensics found out it was a female who'd been in there for 18 months. Unfortunately, there were no records to find out who this woman was. Dentists from all over the country were contacted to try and do some more forensics. But unfortunately, they never found out who this was. That is until a mysterious graffiti message in 1944. The graffiti which was done on the street nearest to the witch elm said, Who put Bella down the witch elm? This led investigators to trace who Bella could have been. The graffiti message was washed away, but it keeps coming back over and over again. And to this day, if you go to Worcestershire, you can see graffiti saying, Who put Bella in the witch elm? Police now suspect that whoever did it was also the person who did the graffiti. But because this happened so long ago, we may never know who put Bella in the witch elm. Nazca Lines the Nazca Lines are one of the biggest mysteries in the world. They're located in Peru, and they were first spotted by commercial aircraft in the 1920s and 30s. Now with modern satellite imagery, we can get an even better picture of these lines. As you can see, there are hundreds of enormous lines. The geometric lines make depictions of animals, plants, and figures. And they were made over 2,000 years ago by people of pre-Inca Nazca culture. They did this by removing the red surface pebbles to reveal the lighter earth below. This created many designs which could only be seen from above. The question is, how could they coordinate this without seeing from high up? This has led to many theories about aliens seeing this from above. Experts say the lines were likely a ritual communication between the Nazcas and their gods. But how could they orchestrate these gigantic lines from ground level? Maybe they had some help from something above. Barrent Sea Craters In March of 2016, some scientists from Norway made an amazing discovery. They had linked giant craters found in the Barrent Sea to the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is said to be the most dangerous area of water in the world. 
Thousands of planes, ships, and boats have gone missing in the area. Over the years, there have been many theories about the Bermuda Triangle, but really, no one knows exactly why everything that goes near it goes missing. But these Norwegian scientists have a pretty good idea. They said the giant craters in the Barents Sea could have been created by exploding natural gas. They also say this has the possibility of being dangerous for vehicles in the area. The exploding gas could cause massive waves, which could tip over ships. And the waves could even go as high as aeroplanes, knocking them out of the sky. Igor Yeltsov, a scientist from Russia, also confirmed this theory. He suspects the secret of the Bermuda Triangle is methane gas. So it's likely that underwater in the Bermuda Triangle, there's lots of methane gas. This sometimes causes explosions, making waves of water knock over vehicles. And that is likely why so many ships and aircraft go missing in the area. Dead Sea Scrolls We all think we know what Noah's Ark looked like, but one 2000 year old document rewrote history when it was found. The Dead Sea Scrolls suggest that Noah's Ark was something different than what we believed. As you can see in the scrolls, the Ark is shaped like a pyramid. This was discovered five years after the scrolls were found. That's because the scrolls were so old and in fragments. But after a lab scanned tens of thousands of fragments, they found this image. Each fragment was photographed 28 different times at high resolution. When it was put together, they found new interpretations of biblical stories. As you can see, the pyramid-shaped Ark has words saying the Ark's tallness. This caused many to theorize that perhaps aliens were involved in Noah's Ark. You see, many connect aliens to the pyramids found all through history. For example, the mysterious ancient Egyptian pyramids and the Mayan pyramids too. A lot of people have no idea how these pyramids were made. And the same is true for Noah's Ark, which was a pyramid. Frozen Skier In 2015, some skiers made a scary discovery in the Italian Alps they found Canadian skier Gregory Barnes. At first, the skiers thought Gregory was simply lost up the mountain, but they soon realized he'd simply been preserved. The reality is he'd been buried under snow for 35 years. The Italian authorities quickly came and retrieved Gregory, and the only reason why he was found after 35 years was because of a hotter than normal summer. This caused some of the ice in the Italian Alps to melt. This allowed the skiers to discover Barnes' body in a crevasse. And inside Gregory's pocket was his passport, confirming his identity. Man of Sligo In 2014, Sligo Island experienced big storms. During this time, a 215-year-old beech tree was blown over. It's sad such an old and giant tree fell over, but what it exposed is even more sad and scary. Its exposed roots revealed a gruesome find of a young boy. He was around 17 years old, and it's thought his passing was the result of a human being. Analysis of the skeleton revealed he lived during the early medieval period. That is between the years 1030 and 1200 AD. Several injuries were visible on the bones. This includes two injuries to his ribs and one on his hand. Because he lived so long ago, we may never know what happened to this boy. But it's creepy that it took 215 years and a massive storm to expose this mystery. Bosnian Spheres in March of 2016, a huge stone sphere was discovered in Bosnia. It looks like it's definitely man-made because it's a perfectly round sphere. But right now, there's a lot of debate as to whether this is man-made or natural. The stone has a radius of about 5 feet, and it could weigh over 30 tons, making it the most massive stone sphere in Europe. Natural sedimentation is found all over the sphere, and one archaeologist said it takes hundreds of thousands of years for this sedimentation to form. But what could have made this sphere? Some say it was man-made, but how would someone hundreds of thousands of years ago have done this? It can't even be done with the kind of tools and equipment we have now. That's why some say aliens or some other creature could have made this. But right now, scientists are stumped. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right hand corner which discovery was the scariest. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There's some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.